All right, we are at, what are we at? 17 March, baby, 2024. Uh, quick little update on Bitcoin. What has it been doing? Well, it's been going up, it's been going down, and it's been going sideways. Uh, it has not been doing nothing at all. It's been doing something. Yeah, a little pullback. It was to be expected after reaching up into the 70s, 73, schmackaroos, 73,000. Uh, pullback. But you see some people are buying. And I think what happens is uh, with equities, <clears throat> you get a huge run up, right? And then you get a slight pullback. And uh, what happens then is everything consolidates, all the money flowing in, kind of kind of gel, gels, gels for a bit. And then it just starts setting the next staging area for the next bump up. Uh, some people are saying, oh, it's a bearish sign, it's a bearish sign. No, it's a typical consolidation of the run-up in Bitcoin with all the inflow of cash going into the ETFs. Yeah, that's my take on it, and I'm sticking to it. All right, yeah, all right, what do we got now? 68, 67, 9. All right, we'll see what happens today. <clears throat> and you know what? It's the old pattern, man. It's not 100%, but it seems to be consistent that on Saturday, you get this damn correction, this damn pullback every time on a Saturday almost. It just seems to be the case. Let's see, we're right here. Yeah, here's the pull down. We're coming down, we're coming down. It just seems to start on the weekend. And this is the bad thing. Again, I repeat about ETFs. If you're buying the Bitcoin ETFs in any of these uh, brokerage firms, Vanguard, BlackRock, Grayscale, Fidelity. You can't trade. You're stuck to normal trading hours. Whereas Bitcoin, you can trade 24 seven big daddies and uh, you can monetize this to your liking. If you know what you're doing or wanna play the down, oh, it's going down, it might go up, put a couple bucks in, boom, make a couple bucks, get out. You know, that's just my entertainment advice only. This is not financial advice. Do not listen to any idiot on YouTube. <clears throat> yeah, man, that's my advice. Listen to anyone on YouTube. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's your own fault. Let's get rocking here. Oh, uh, let's see. We talked about Bitcoin. I don't know. It always does this crap. And then uh, on the weekends, and now we're going back up. And then if you watch tomorrow morning when the uh, stock market opens at 930, you will see typically it spike up because the ETFs are back in gear may be managed and what happens is interestingly enough i noticed the key times are opening time obviously an hour later at 10 30 you can kind of see things will either keep going or shift so mostly they shift down and it's pretty interesting especially with bitcoin and i go what is going on after that first hour mark so it's almost best to wait an hour before you do anything i don't know that's that's my pattern that's what I've been seeing, the trend. Then also, one o'clock after lunch, Easter time, Easter time, you'll see it either then start moving again. So it's like, get in at 9.30, you see what's happening. I know a lot of people do pre-trades before hours. I don't know, that kind of spooks me a bit. <clears throat> and then you wait to 10.30, you see what's it going to do. You kind of get a momentum shift, either continue up, continue down, whatever. Then it kind of settles. And then one o'clock, boom it's gonna decide the rest of the day. It's just weird that way. Uh, some kind of pattern of life, but not 100%. Uh, that's my Billy Bob Bitcoin analysis for the day. All right, let's go over, what am I doing? I am still holding, obviously. I'm just gonna hold this puppy. I do not need the money, so I'm just holding my Bitcoin. <clears throat> Sorry, man, I'm clogged up. In my wallets and uh, holding that puppy. And I'm also been doing another pro tip for you guys to uh, avoid any tax reporting transaction is let's go over here Are you ready for this get your notepads out this is advice for free i should not be giving you this advice this is what you pay uh your financial planners or cfp crooks then uh also your uh cpas which are good people you pay them also for financial or for tax advice uh what you do <clears throat> over here uh let's look at one of these here's one bitcoin this is an fbtc fidelity wise bitcoin fund etf 
I think it's ranked number two behind BlackRock as far as ingestion of funds from the normies, from the general populace who don't know what a wallet is or really what Bitcoin is. They just said, buy me some of this. I want to be rich and buy a yacht. That's what they said to their handlers at BlackRock. And they went forth and did such things. Uh, it's almost going to be too big to fail. So that is another reason why I'm very positive with Bitcoin. Am I right? Who knows? Nobody knows, right? But uh, these big boys in BlackRock and Vanguard and uh, Fidelity have their big backers now rolling cash into that. And you can see the volume on the right. Uh, sometimes when you click on these things right down here, it's not bad. There's a lot of money flowing into this. So they cannot let it stay low. It's got to go high. Otherwise, people are going to be upset with them. <clears throat> so one good positive thing. What is the pro tip? that you all should be paying me for, but I will not charge. You can sign up to the channel, subscribe, whatever. Subscribe, uh, join, them, join as a member and all that cool stuff. That would be greatly appreciated, obviously. Uh, but it's YouTube. No one really makes any money on YouTube. It's all for fun. And if I can help people or just share my adventure, my journey, <laughs> I will do that. Uh, am I wrong? Sure. Am I right? Sure. Nobody knows, right? If you're an expert, why are you listening to me? So let's go on. So what you can do, guys, here's the pro tip. FBTC or any stock, anything you can buy through a broker channel, <clears throat> even commodities, Exxon Oil, stuff like that, uh, mining companies for copper, uh, even Bitcoin, crypto miners, uh, any of these things you can buy through your IRA or preferably your Roth. If you don't have a Roth set up, you're a fool. Get a Roth set up. If you're making income, set up a freaking Roth account now. Get as much in that Roth. Roth is the secret sauce to success. Uh, it just grows tax-free. You're funding it with your income and after-tax money. You're already taxed on it. You put the puppy in, the money into it. Up to 8,000 bucks if you're over 50 or something. And then 7,500 or 7,000 if you're under 50, 50, 55. I can't remember. But put the money in, get the deduction in a Roth. Because if you do IRA, you're going to have to, if you live long enough, most of you won't. But if you live in the 70s, you got to take those required minimal distributions and you are taxed on those puppies as income. Where is the Roth? You've already been taxed. Put the damn money in the Roth now while you're younger. Let it grow tax free. Take a, you know, you can take a little more risk with it because you got a lot of runway, but don't lose it all. Don't buy Tesla like me, which is down 40%. Come on, Musk, get your, get your acting gear. Hopefully the uh, EV craze is not over. I don't know what to do with it. But anyway, I got a lot of runway on that yet to see if it comes back up. I don't know. We'll see. But my advice, open a Roth, fund it, get the tax deduction. Good for your taxes. And like I said, any earnings, interest. Capital gains you make further in that Roth array is not taxable. Therefore, pro tip, baby. I mean, this is free advice, guys. I'm telling you the quality of information you're receiving. Most people do not appreciate it. And that's on you. Anyway, <laughs> let's go on what you can do in these Roth use cases. Set up your Roth. <clears throat> fund it with a max contribution for whatever age you are in. Then what I would do, man, I don't know. This is for entertainment purposes only, you guys. Come on. This is what I do for fun. I'm just sharing. Is you can buy, say, FBTC through your Roth. Why is that good? Well, if I can, I can buy it up, buy it at, say, I don't know what it's at now. I lost track. You buy it at 40, and it goes up to 45. You make a few hundred bucks, a few thousand bucks, whatever you put into it, big daddies. You sell it, boom, non non non-taxable transaction right there big daddy you don't have to worry about reporting short-term cap games all that bs and all that money that you made will not be taxed because the tax money just goes overseas to fund some cesspool country for money laundering by our government man and funding the war machine of the united states of america so why would you do that <laughs> i'm not funding those guys so you can trade through your roth and uh keep all the money for yourself the beauty on some of these etfs right now People go, well, why don't you just trade crypto? You can't really trade crypto in your Ross, as far as I know, on the, on, the, on the platforms I use. You might be a way to get around it. I don't know. You guys figure it out. Google's your friend. But uh, the beauty of this is uh, some of these ETFs are fee 
free right now. They are not charging anything. I know with, um, I don't know about Vanguard BlackRock, but FBTC Fidelity is waiving their 25.25 um, uh, fee until August. So not only do you get tax-free transactions, you get fee-free, yeah, say that twice, fee-free transactions on buying this crap. Now the negative, two negatives, is you can only trade this crap during normal trading hours, which sucks, because if this Bitcoin crashes or goes up, if it goes up, big deal, you're gonna make money, hopefully when Monday opens. But if it starts crashing, you wanna get out, you're, you're boned, you're not gonna be able to get out. You're left holding the bag over the weekend, and that is kind of a scary, stressful thing. So you gotta know that risk going in, know the risk. You can always lose everything. Ask Bitcoin Ben. Uh, the other negative is, you can't touch this money until you're uh, 59 and a half. You can pull it out without penalty. Uh, I would not, why would you make money and pull it out and take a 10% penalty? That's stupid. This is for your future because I don't know, man, the economy is gonna collapse any freaking month or year now, it's, it's coming. The housing market's overpriced, the mortgage rates, inflation is out of control. Uh, look at all the layoffs. You can Google layoffs from tech and other sectors. Cisco, massive layoffs, consolidation, leaving California, consolidating buildings in the RTP uh, Raleigh area. Uh, all the tech, Google is down 20%. Apple's down 20%. Has not done anything in four years stock-wise. Has remained flat. They have run out of all of Steve Jobs' ideas and Cook is just kind of kicking the can down the road. Uh, so Apple, I don't know, man. They're not making much. You also see billionaires dumping stocks. Uh, the Bill Gates Foundation dumped 80% of their stocks into cash. Uh, Jamie Dimon, JP Morgan, for the first time ever, dumped stocks. Uh, Bezos has dumped his stocks. What do these guys have in common? They're almost billionaires, right? Uh, they have dumped stocks. Uh, who else? Someone else dumped their stock. Oh, my God. Uh, Abby guy, one of the Abby pharmaceutical guys dumped a lot of their stocks. Uh, they, I think they see what's coming. So prepare accordingly. Not financial advice, but yeah, don't be afraid to be conservative too. So anyway, get in your Roth. It's for your future. You want to have money down the road. Odds are taxes are going to keep going up because we're a bunch of wimpy people in this country who will not fight the powers that be uh, to say, hey, man, quit, quit, quit uh, charging us too much in taxes and then funding other countries while not helping our own country. Yeah, you got to watch that crap. I'm so sick of that. So Roth is a good vehicle to look at for trading this stuff there's your pro tip of the day enjoy go forth and do according and as i say that here go bitcoin pulling back to 67. this stuff will drive you nuts man if you watch it if you watch it a uh, semi semi daily basis like what is going on ah! especially on the weekend like i said that's the negative of uh trading uh etfs or any stock is you're bound to the uh trading hours and you can't do a damn thing especially with these bitcoin etfs over the weekend, if, the, if Bitcoin starts tanking, you're, you're left holding the bag. But I guess you could, well, I don't know if the uh, limit sell order, stop loss order will stay in effect more than a day. You have to look into that. You can actually set your, I'm happy if I lose 10%, get the hell out. I don't want to lose any more. And I should have done that with Tesla. I'm a fool. Lesson learned. Set a stop loss. If it drops more than 10%, you might just want to dump it and say, crap, this thing's tanking. I don't know. It's a safety safety switch. You know, get out of jail free. You're going to lose money, but you're not going to lose all your money. That is a stop loss. I don't know if you can do that on this ETF. I'll have to look into it. It might, it, you might, but it might expire. Oh, after a day. What are we, oh my God, 14 minutes of pure information for the peeps out there. Yeah, I said peeps. But uh, yeah, this is good information. Go forth through great things. Uh, but do not be afraid to be conservative. But the Roth, get a Roth set up for dear Lord Jesus. Get a Roth set up and start funding it each year to your max. Do not trust your 401k at work. Uh, a lot of guys, I know, in 2008, people were up so big, and then hugely, and then, you know, then they crashed the market. In 2008, people lost half of their retirement. It was scary, man. But if you got it in a Roth, you're managing it yourself. You can, uh, you can do some of this ETF crap do some low risk stuff, you know, and kind of shield yourself against these big corrections. What are coming, man? They are coming and the signs are on the wall. 
uh, put in a money market. You can put it in a TLT, iShares Treasury, uh, and play with a few bucks in the ATF. I don't know. Be conservative. If you feel that's for you, nothing wrong with it. Uh, what else is going on FETC? That's one I'm looking at. And again, the raw thing, that was one thing I'm going to touch on. The other thing I touched on Bitcoin, it just seems to go down or go up. It just seems to do a lot of movement on the weekends, which is interesting. Uh, pros and cons, as I mentioned, you got those for the notes. There will be a test on this tomorrow, so you better study. Uh, what else? I am mining. Oh, I am mining. I was on the old nice hash. I decided to switch up. I'm not making much here. Still holding. I haven't pulled any money out. I'm still on a couple hundred bucks. 0 0.0033 Bitcoin. Yay. That's better than zero, right? And it's my little CPUs, my older CPUs, 3900s right here. Let me show you. You don't believe me. AMD Ryzen 9, 3900X 12 core. And then I got 120 or 32 core processor. Where's that thing at? Oh my God. Oh, it's 16 core processor. Oh, I have three on NiceHash. I'm running an experiment on Zergpool again, of all places. I saw that Varus coin with the Varus hash algorithm was the most profitable CPU coin right now. And for your mobile device, you can mine on your mobile device. I want to do that. I don't want any crap running on my phone. I don't, that could kill the battery and or hack my system. I don't want that, but I am doing CPU with three dudes using CC miner. And I'm trying to see if it is profitable. I got one hit on Varus coin. The problem with this turd is um, if we go to Varus hash, click on Varus hash, you'll go over to the algorithm and you see that, oh, it's got one coin, yay. And uh, you get, a, it pays out six VRSCs every time it dumps. But the problem is, look at how far apart you get these payouts or these rewards, man. It is not, it's pretty um, spacious. So it's not like Ghost Rider now, which is like every minute or so. So that's the only bad thing I'm finding, but I got three rigs on it. I wanna see if I can hit a couple in 24 hours just to see if it is profitable. It says CPU, GPU, FPGA. It doesn't do ASIC, but uh, yeah. So there are a lot of miners on it. 7,343, 106 are mining solo. Those poor guys aren't getting a damn thing because I don't see any solo blocks. Party, 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 look at that. So mining solo on Varus hash is, is a fool's errand. You're wasting electricity and the opportunity of just mining other stuff or Varus coin. Ghost Rider. Oh my God. Let's see. Has it moved out? Ghost Rider is the next. I don't know what yes power is. I don't know why. I have to look at that. It's not that profitable. Zero, zero, one, one, five. And it's a little less profitable than Ghost Rider with more miners and eh, maybe it's worth checking out i don't know you got yes power i have sorted this by the number of miners so i always i want to see what people are using because i always feel other people are brighter than me learn from others uh learn from their mistakes kapow man oh i did try to turn on gpus man it got hot in here and i just it wasn't worth the the um the juice was not worth the squeeze because all the power the heat and it wasn't making any money on the old gpus i just turned them off i don't like gpu money i do not like it Sorry, CPUs are nice and easy and it makes a couple bucks. Life-changing money? No. <laughs> maybe move the, if you move to the Philippines, maybe, but it's not life-changing money. It's just the goal is to stack the Bitcoin. All right, that's all I wanted to BS about. I'm, I'm going to put too many videos out. There's really not much to talk about. Just sitting here watching Bitcoin go up, go down, go sideways and looking at some of the, the news. Always check out your daily huddle. I think it has some interesting articles. Again, some contradict the others. Uh, Bitcoin's going to go up. Oh, it's going to be bearish. You know, here's a bearish signal. Uh, this one's interesting. JP Morgan Chase refuses to reimburse customer after a $7,800 drain from bank account in brutal three-day hack attack. So here, the freaks at JP Morgan have terrible cybersecurity, and they uh, allow for a cyber attack, which drains people's banks account, bank, bank accounts. And the bank, the bank, JP Morgan, they don't care about you. They're not going to reimburse you and they won't. This person lost 8,000 bucks. Thank you, JP Morgan. And Wells Fargo's bad. And I think Chase is bad. All these banks are bad. Just watch it, man. Spread your money out across all these four banks. Get in a credit union as well. Cover your butts. That way you have many buckets in case they lock one down, you lose one. 
you're not going to fight the powers that be. Again, it's a big club and we ain't in it, guys. We are not in it. We're the sheeples. Uh, we need a few sheepdogs out there to keep these people honest. We'll see what happens. Uh, John Wick, enter the frame. All right. Oh, my God. Look at this. Now we got Bank of America allegedly takes $3.6 billion dollars Treasure trove from customer refuses to return millions in assets. Oh my god. I'm so sick of these banks, man. Banks are the criminals of the world next to the politicians. Bitcoin skyrocketing. Da, 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 da. Leverage suggests crypto market could be overheated. Yeah, it's pulling back right now, dude. Where have you been? What day are we in? It was yesterday he posted this. It's consolidating. Look for it to go higher. I don't know. That's my take. Uh, let's see more. I just look looking at the headlines. Micro strategy. This guy is all in. This guy is all in. He's going to announce plan to buy more Bitcoin as top crypto asset. Dipped in Pythe. He fell behind BlackRock of all people, of all firms. BlackRock's been gobbling up Bitcoin for their ETFs. Uh, 300, uh, what is this? 300,000 Bitcoin price incoming. For dicks, rich dad, poor dad. I don't know. This Kayasaki dad, I don't know. He's kind of a grifter. You got to watch him. I Just hearing some of the backstories on him, I just don't believe anything he says. So again, doubt but verify. I don't believe it. I don't, if I see something different, then maybe I'll believe him. But right now, doubt everything in, on the internet you hear. Even me, boob. 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 Dude. <laughs> Even me. This is just for entertainment. Um. I don't know. There's some good articles in here. Just to give you a buzz, uh, what is happening out there? I am not into altcoins. I just think stick with the stick with the winner, stick with the leader, stick with Bitcoin. Yeah. All right, that's all I got. Go forth to great things. I am out. 22 minutes of pure entertainment and knowledge dropped at your feet on a Sunday. You are welcome. Now subscribe. Join as a member, and once I get a bunch of members, I'm going to put out some more stuff I'm trading, uh, my strategy on trading, and, uh, and I'll even put the money I make, but not to the public, just to members only. All right, go forth. Have a great weekend. Go touch some grass, get some sun, and uh, yeah, I'm out of here.